What's going on guys, Magdalen here. I said I was probably not going to do any Elden Ring videos, but I've been messing around with my audio settings, particularly trying new plugins for my microphone. Uh, the noise suppression that comes with OBS is pretty shitty, and so I'm trying one of the plugins that comes with the Reaper DAW, Reagate. It's a standalone thing, and it's actually seems to be working really well. But I figured we would go ahead and play a little Elden Ring here. We're going to do the Volcano Cave. I understand there is a pretty cool ranged weapon that you can get out of here. And so I'd like to see what that's all about. So let's head on down. I do like to watch a guide walkthrough type thing while I'm playing a Souls game. And so I knew where this... I did figure out where the cave is, but I don't actually know what we're going to have going on in here. Looks like these guys are just getting crushed. Oh. Okay. We can jump down there. go this way. I guess we'll take the path that doesn't include us dropping down into a bunch of those enemies. Oh. Oh, big boy. Let's just run in and try and smash him up. Oh yeah, easy. Oh. He's got some friends. Come out. Looks like we got a boss battle right here. Easy. Pretty short little cave. I guess we'll fight the boss and then go back up top and go down and, you know, jump down that little side path that we had seen. All right, let's hop in here. Let's summon up the boys. Throw some fire on there. It's gonna blast me with some magic, evidently. Alright, and let's go in on him. Oh, I'm just gonna crush him. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh, that's what we wanted. The jar cannon. That looks dope. So let's check that out. Ooh, that thing's heavy. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Okay, so it's a ballista, technically. My understanding is it'll, uh, you can fire all kinds of fun stuff with this, so I'm gonna get that all set up after the fact here and uh, try that out. Maybe I'll make a video later on if it ends up being cool. But uh, yeah, so if anybody was wondering if you're also playing this game, I like completely missed this cave. Because uh, the walkthrough that I was watching, uh, he kind of went through and did a lot of this stuff. And I don't know if I just missed the 10 minutes of the episode where he went up here or what, but uh, I didn't do it. So let's um, let's pop back to the entrance here and at least run back down and check out that little side passage. See if there's any moots that we missed along the way. That's the exit, so let's go Run down here. Oops. All right. Oh, 
Okay, so this just put us right down where we were. Okay, my mistake. I guess I got confused a little bit. I thought we had gone further to the left. Well, it looks like there was a loot over here I missed at least. Just a lump of flesh, but... We pretty much have seen what there is to see in here. Of course, let me know in the uh, comments section below if, uh, if I missed anything important, but I think we pretty much got it covered here. Yeah. All right. So yeah, real short video. And, uh, mostly just to kind of test things, see how the recording process works with a more graphically intensive game than Path of Exile and test out some microphone stuff, but actually had uh, quite a bit of fun doing that, so maybe uh, I'll make more of these types of videos. But, as always, if you enjoy the content, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you. Okay, quick bonus content here. I went ahead and upgraded this thing oops, to plus nine, and it does a shitload of damage. Um, I'll show you. So, it's got like almost 200 more, you know, attack power than my actual like main, you know, mace. Um, so we're gonna run over and test it out. I bought a bunch of explosive grape bolts. Bonus tip: uh, root resin always spawns at that tree. So if you need a bunch of it to make grease or whatever, you can just keep spawning it. Warmaster Shack and farm that up like super easy. All right, let's cruise over here. I'm excited to see how much damage this thing does. I really, I like to use these giants for testing stuff out because they're pretty easy to deal with. All right, make sure it's two-handed. Right? Is it? Yeah. All right. Okay, pretty pretty good on the on that. Oh. I mean, that's pretty good. Ooh, what was that? The crit? Well, let's try it again. It seemed like it wasn't doing that much damage. And then the last hit, it did, like, way, way more. So maybe it's important that I actually aim at the guys. Ah, so it is. Okay, so that crushes him. Let's throw back on. Where's the mat? There we go. And let's find one more of these goons. always one sitting right there and there's a couple more over there too not a bad like early game souls farm spot you know okay so let's just run in i mean those big hits did a lot and that one crit or whatever that we got is pretty much comparable to the uh weapon art for this uh, plus 10 weapon or pardon me, plus 17. Uh, yeah, super cool. I'm going to actually start using that uh, that jar cannon thing. That's really cool. I struggled to make any ranged weapon work, but especially if you can get the jump on enemies, uh, being able to dish that kind of damage out from range while being built up to be just a stupid strength smash with hammer guy. Pretty cool. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.